Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a key part of manual transmission systems, the diaphragm type pressure plate. This essential component keeps your clutch operating smoothly, so let's break down exactly how it works and why it's crucial for your car's performance. First, let's start with a quick refresher on clutch basics. In most manual transmissions, the clutch's job is to engage and disengage the engine's power from the transmission. This allows you to change gears while controlling the power flow from the engine to the wheels. One of the key players here is the pressure plate. Its main job, to apply a clamping force on the clutch disc. This force enables engine torque, basically the power from the engine, to transfer smoothly from the engine to the transmission. Without this clamping force, you wouldn't be able to keep the clutch engaged during regular driving. On the pressure plate itself, you'll notice that one side is smooth and precisely machined. This is where it makes solid contact with the friction disc, helping with efficient power transfer from the engine to the transmission. The smoother and more precise this contact, the better the transfer of energy. In most modern manual transmissions, we're seeing a shift toward the diaphragm spring pressure plate design. The diaphragm spring pressure plate relies on a single, thin, circular diaphragm spring. This component is crafted from high-quality, heat-treated steel and has a dished or bowl-shaped profile, which helps produce the necessary spring effect for smooth operation. What makes the diaphragm spring unique is its finger design. The spring is circular, with fingers that radiate from the edge toward the center. The ends of these fingers make contact with the throwout bearing, which allows them to act as release levers when you press the clutch pedal. Here's an interesting detail. Some designs cut six of the fingers shorter, creating extra space to improve airflow and cooling, which is essential during high-performance use. In other variations, these six fingers are bent upwards, while weights are attached to the outer edge of the diaphragm. This centrifugal effect assists spring pressure at high RPMs, providing stability when you need it most. As the diaphragm spring engages the pressure plate, the inward pointing fingers form a slight dish shape. Two pivot rings, one on the outer side and one on the inner side of the diaphragm, stabilize the motion and provide balance. The rings are secured with studs connected to the clutch cover ensuring the whole assembly operates smoothly. To transmit power from the diaphragm spring to the pressure plate, three double spring steel straps are used. These straps are riveted to the clutch cover and bolted to the pressure plate, which allows the pressure plate to move back and forth with the diaphragm spring. When you press the clutch pedal, the throwout bearing contacts the fingers on the diaphragm spring. These fingers act in place of release levers, moving the pressure plate away from the clutch disc and disengaging the engine's power from the transmission. 